Okay, now where was I? Oh yes, the universal holographic entropy bound. Well, basically what this says is um, there's been some recent work in black hole physics, and what they've actually noticed is that from the um, emissions of Hawking radiation, they've determined that the uh, entropy increase, um, and also from a few equations pertaining to black holes, they've actually determined that a black hole's entropy uh, increases pertaining to its surface area, not to its volume. Anyway, I'm not too clear on the um, calculation details, but the article basically stated, um, you can find this at siam.com, go look up the universal holographic entropy value, you should be able to find it there, or black holes comma entropy. Um, but anyway, what it's talking about is the fact that our universe may be very much like a hologram. Um, basically, um, the concept is that um, whatever, uh, whatever the um, basically whatever the basis is for a three-dimensional universe, that um, because of the fact that this entropy increases proportional to its surface area, black holes are like nodes for a holographic universe where everything is in fact two-dimensional, all the matter is, and uh, the third dimension is nothing more than entropic information. It's basically creating uh, an illusion for us that our universe is in fact three or four, or that we are in fact three-dimensional beings when we are in fact two-dimensional. Now, if you include this with the fact that time um, is nothing more than an informational dimension. That suggests that at least two of the uh, dimensions in our universe are nothing but programming, nothing but information. Now, there's a secondary piece of information which goes to this. Um, now, this one, unfortunately, is more theoretical, and a new telescope going up this year should confirm or deny it. But there is something that's been talked about called the Planck APOC, certain mathematical equations relating to Einstein's relativity. Um, it's one of the... Uh, have formulated a theory called loop quantum gravity, which is the other major contender versus string theory for um, for dimensional, um, you know, for, um, for intersecting quantum mechanics with relativity. And in this particular case, what they actually propose is that there is a finite unit of space-time beyond which, um, uh, which, beyond which space and time cannot um, break down. And assuming that, which basically means that sp space and time are not smooth, but in fact do load very slowly, or do create bit by bit, and the universe could even freeze, even act, which basically means that we are in fact, you know, with this finite unit of space and time. That would mean that all four dimensions are effectively programming. Um, it would mean that we are functioning just like a computer program, you know, again, uh, you know, again, much, like I said, most of the information. The reason I suggest this is because without time, um, no events ever have happened. Um, Another example of this is the fact that, um, well, assuming that string theory is well, we don't know for certain whether string theory is correct or not, but once you try to break down quarks, you get nothing but energy, um, at least so, so far as they found, which basically means that, again, even our most basic building blocks are built up of energy, the, you know, the conversion of energy to mass. Like, eventually, if you break it down far enough, you convert mass entirely into energy, and energy can be comparable to, pro, uh, compa can be comparable to information, um, again, through much like this black hole system. So, Either way, it would in, there are a few indicators to suggest that our universe would be a computer program. But the question now remains, if there's an intelligent God, what is the uh, concept of prayer, or how does that work? Well, the concept of God would be much one like a computer programmer. Um, somebody who was uh, maybe, say, a vault, maybe even a, a, a former human, or, or a, a human, who evolved, um, you know, several billion years in our, you know, vis-a-vis -vis our future, um, you know, evolved their own race, and they were curious as to how the human race evolved, so they formed a computer simulation to try to figure it out. Um, a recent article in Scientific American said that the evidence for the Big Bang would not be around in another five billion years or so. So a computer simulation, much like our universe, would be very appropriate, considering the fact that um, it would be probably the only way that they would even have any evidence of a Big Bang theory or anything like that and say four or five billion years down the line so you know that would be that would be a per, another perfectly reasonable um, piece of evidence to suggest it now the question remains in really and now the other bit of course is those that that would also in turn amp answer the question as to why not heal amputees or what have you is that well if a god or a computer program or something um, did create a, um, a computer simulation and we are effectively self-aware programmers self-aware programming um, this uh, the question then remains: Why would a you know why would a person be able to you know why would self-aware beings even be created or uh, sorry more specifically uh, damn it now lost my train of thought hang on oh yes why would God not heal amputees um, and the like well the question would well the answer would be is that um, God might be able to influence in one small way or another like you know influence little minor adjustments to the programming but if the programmer tried to adjust something big, like trying to heal all the amputees in the world or something like that, it would break down the laws of physics according to the source code and the entire program would fall apart. So, <laughs> um, another thing, of course, is those that, theoretically speaking, uh, a computer might not even, you know, that far advanced, wouldn't even need a single, um, you know, wouldn't even necessarily need a, uh, a uh, uh, another 
uh, another possibility, um, you know, wouldn't even need to, you know, it's required its entire space to run a program like this. Multiple other universes could be run um, using the 11 dimensional concept of string theory and the like. Um, another example uh, for an idea of, of a god or of heaven or what have you is that um, recent string theory suggestions, assuming that loop quantum gravity is not even it, period, and that evolution is an extractionary point or what have you, we could have it with the computer program simulation, but rather that a, a being from another universe who had hyper evolved and was able to uh, stretch beyond its own universe in terms of consciousness actually spawned our universe uh, from a Big Bang or something like that, from, you know, from some other universe that existed and did the simulation in, in much, much the same way but with a, a live simulation as opposed to a computer simulation. Um, so you know that would be that would be another suggestion right there, um, with multiple dimensions, a you know uh, it would or, or multiple universes. It wouldn't be surprising if in at least one of those universes there was some being that was sufficiently powerful that it could actually influence other universes, maybe even ours. Now the question still remains again. Um, now that still leaves the question of Jesus Christ, the direct intervention, what have you. Well, Jesus Christ could well have been the Son of God. A virgin birth could have been possible. Um, here's a thought: there are sentient universe, you know. Assuming that life existed through the evolutionary process, you know, and we're not, you know, uh, without just an intelligent designer directly for our planet. Picture this: a um, there's two possible scenarios by which a god could have come to our planet. Number one of which is that if it's a human who's observing uh, how humans developed or what have you, then theoretically speaking, um, there would have to be some sort of communique. Um, you know, the, the legends of Jesus might have le lasted for several thousand years, and the advanced figure. Um, simply pl uh, played that as part of the programming. So the um, so it would be the Son of God as in the sense that the universe was the Son of God and the whole virgin birth was directly programmed in. Um, you know, it would have been int intrinsically programmed in and perhaps some sort of advanced psi power happened. Now another possibility is that um, if it were built like a virtual reality machine, which we have some fledging technology for, uh, the computer programmer himself could have basically um, gone through a whole birthing process without need of a father wrote in a little bit of source code, put himself in virtual reality and experienced everything that we did, um, then died on the cross, had his body destroyed, and then after the programming glitch ended, he, you know, resurrected it, um, got rid of the programming glitch and removed himself from the system. That's possible. It may be even possible for the human, for the uh, self-aware minds of our bodies or what have you, when it talks about in the Bible in the end that we'll have new bodies or what have you, maybe the kingdom of God is that it'll shut down the program and take the self-aware beings out and write us in a new computer program somewhere else, or new bodies or something like that. Who knows? Um, another hypothetical scenario is the string theory idea. Uh, again, if there's more than one god that can influence, maybe um, our consciousness can somehow be transferred um, in pattern format via electromagnetic wave or what have you, out of our bodies into some other universe line where we're given new bodies again. Um, now the other question remains, um, how, um, now if this god is communicating, or if evolution did happen, again we're getting back to that old evolution point, how on earth did the um, writer of the Bible know that basic amount enough to even be able to get that right. I mean, they were so primitive they shouldn't even be able to understand the concepts of how the creatures were created or what have you. Like, how would they get that accidental coincidence? Um, well, here's my answer to that. Um, one of which, the computer programmer could have left a little something in the source code, talked to us. The second issue is the um, so-called evidence for parapsych phenomena. Now, again, as I've said before, I'm skeptical of psi phenomena, but what if, just what if, um, some earlier people who were less dependent on technology were fa found a way to cultivate um, some sort of psychic ability. Um, well, it's theoretically possible that, you know, it's theoretically possible that maybe um, they somehow saw ahead or, or through clairvoyance or something, tapped the original source code, uh, read a little bit of, of how the universe was supposed to work out, how it was planned, and, and therefore maybe figured out uh, the basics of evolution, but because they didn't have a scientific framework, they wrote it in that format. Um, that's another possibility. Um, everybody who may be thinking that they're talking to God, maybe they aren't really talking to the programmer, but they're getting a comfortable, convenient thing based on their religion, and, you know, um, maybe they're uh, exploiting some sort of psychic ability or something like that. Um, here's another possibility. Um, God answering prayers. Well, um, there are some studies, such as the Global Consciousness Project, to suggest, note that I said suggest only, I'm still skeptic, but, um, you know, if the Global Consciousness Project is right, and that a great number of minds focused on one thing, could allow for some sort of healing. Well, amputee work would be trying to heal amputee. Um, you know, maybe it's possible that God set up the answering of prayers through some sort of psychokinetic mediation effect. Now, prayers like affecting, you know, probabilistic events, like say a certain presidential candidate goes out of electoral process or what have you, could be more minds are focused in one area than another, or or a great number of minds healing a, uh, you know, trying to reverse cancer. That might be possible. More in the next video.